So when somebody is working through an injury, most of the time they're working on managing inflammation, getting range of motion back, building into strength, building into coordination, balance, return to play. Where with neurotherapy, we're working on the brain muscle programming and the brain uh, movement pattern interface. The foundational difference is the focuses around the nervous system rather than the physiological components of muscle, tendon, ligament, etc. And so I can help somebody with why is there inflammation present? Why is this range of motion changed? Why is that strength inhibited all at the same time? And then bridge back into those higher level tasks in a very condensed manner. So instead of um, somebody taking, you know, hey, this is a six week process, we can just majorly um, combine steps together uh, and the body can be on track for a much faster outcome, a much more, you know, quick and complete outcome. Uh, so when we talk about the nervous system with people, it's more about, well, if I have this injury, it's more, why did this occur? What's going on communication-wise that would create an environment where your hamstring would have to overwork and become injured? So foundationally, we're taking a step back previous to saying, here's my injury, here's my current symptoms, and saying, what could have led to the body finding it to be the appropriate decision to overuse your low back or to overuse whatever area and create those types of uh, degradations. I can actually recognize now the commonalities between people. You might have six different people with low back pain. They might all be coming from slightly different sources, but the low back is really the area that's overcompensating and it's all having to do with the, the programs that people run on, their, their nervous system program. my observations of conventional physical therapy versus neurotherapy um, was especially the rate of change that one can create. Because essentially, we're working with the programming behind movement and function. What is my nervous system signaling to allow? Because flexibility and tension and you know, pressure on joints, much of that doesn't have anything to do with the physical structures. It has to do with the signals those structures are receiving, such as the muscles. So if you can't touch your toes, it's not your hamstring's fault, it's your nervous system signaling that it doesn't want to allow that. So seeing that kind of foundational difference and seeing somebody go from staggering into a treatment room and 10 minutes later leaving, you know, like they're walking on air um, and just the only main difference being we're focusing on the nervous system rather than the specific, even structural damage symptoms. Um, you can make that functional change extremely quickly and profoundly.